What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since about Jordan Peele's note in this video here again today. Now there is a in, there is a website, a marketing website pretty much <laughs> that went up for the movie a few days ago called Jupiter jupitersclaim.com and on one of the pages of on that site when you navigate it, obviously as you navigate it, it might be hinting at certain plot details and I've seen some people picking up on certain things, so I just want to share my thoughts on it that as it pertains to Stephen Young's character. Now on this screenshot you see on your screen, it says, Welcome to Jupiter's Claim. It says, Hello, former child actor and reality TV star Ricky Jupe Park here. Now, Ricky, I'm assuming, is actually Steven's character. I believe a lot of you have also commented and told me that's who Steven is playing in the movie. So I'm going to go off and just say that's that's who this is. It says, Ricky Jupe Park here of Kid Sheriff. And I'm assuming he starred on a show called Kid Sheriff during his younger years. And maybe that's who that young that's why in another video i talked about maybe they're showing us flashbacks in the trailer that came out because there is somebody in in the trailer that could be a young a young stephen young and similar to how we had a young adeline a young lupita character in the us trailer so i'm like this is the same thing happening again in this no, new trailer and i know on that trailer there was a monkey attacking so maybe there's a monkey attack that happened on the set of kid sheriff but again, getting back into what it says, it says Ricky Juke Park here of Kid Sheriff fame. I'm thrilled to have you drift in or drift on into the dusty claim I've I've staked in these here parts. Jupiter's claim is the bestest darn California Gold Rush theme park in the sense of Clarita, Lancaster area. Perfect for family outings, school groups and birthday parties. Saddle up, pan for gold and earn my proprietary jangle. And remember, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Now, going off of this, it definitely seems like. Again, it's reinforcing my belief that there is indeed going to be some aspect of commentating on the consequences of someone exploiting things, using things for their own benefit, of uh, using things to get ahead, fame, fortune, chasing all those things, the good and bad that comes with attention. And once you get that attention, you were seeking so bad that you realize it wasn't what you always wanted. Uh, you wanted it so badly, one point, but now that you got it, you see that you probably really don't want this. Uh, it's going to have a lot to say about that. Again, exploitation of tragedies to benefit yourself or others that you know close to you. And I've also seen the idea come up that maybe this alien invasion is actually just some type of documentary going on and there's no aliens in the UFO. There's just people conducting a documentary. I don't think that's going to be the case. I definitely think that Stephen Young's character, this does bring up uh, some type of logic as to why he might be at the Hayworth house and somehow ending up with some of their horses. Because again, in the first trailer we saw, knowing that they have a, a horse ranch, and then we see Stephen Young with a with a horse at his uh, Jupiter's Claim attraction, it seems like he got the horse again from the Hayworths. So I'm assuming he got the horses from them to again exploit the horses. And also then, of course, as we see at Jupiter's Claim, he's exploiting the aliens that have been here in the area, terrorizing people. And it's going to have a lot to do with how his character maybe is connected to the aliens what his backstory is how he has already been through something like this similarly in the past as a child on that show kid sheriff and how it's impacted him going into his adulthood and now he's of course going to have to pay the consequences for something that is again probably revolving around exploiting things for your own gain when you should be trying to solve the issue and he could of course be in cahoots with these aliens <laughs> he could be someone who's teaming up with the aliens helping them wanting them to take over for whatever reason and hope they succeed and we'll, we're definitely going to learn a lot about this person going off of this website and how it's clearly centered around his character his character is going to be a big piece of this puzzle it's going to have to do a lot of a lot of the questions that we have and a lot of the answers i feel like are going to come from this character learning stuff about him learning about his relationship with the hayworths and how it probably ties into his childhood and why he's the way he is now as an adult uh, presumably exploiting things for his own gain all leads back to his role as a child star it's probably gonna have a lot to say about the entertainment industry maybe too considering that he's again coming from the entertainment industry it's probably gonna have a lot to say about that again i like how again coming out of the test screenings from what i was told by those who were telling me things the overall overall consensus was there is no social commentary 
I was always doubting that maybe it was the fact that it's not that there is no social commentary as much as it is, it's something that's going over people's heads. Now, of course, they still could have been shown a different cut of the movie, but I would imagine they've shown everybody the same cut at these test screenings, minus maybe a few updated VFX and that's it. But the social commentary just seems to have gone over those people's heads because again i've had someone come out to me and say there's there's definitely something going on here as it pertains to commentating on the good and bad of fame attention seeking and all these other details so i can't wait to see what exactly it is specifically or if it's a plethora of things going on as it pertains to this alien invasion and how our characters are responding to it and how that's going to be in a way us exploring them commentating on human responses to tragedies maybe in this case the tragedy is an alien invasion and how it's impacting everyone else around them because again the whole idea of kiki palmer's character being obsessed with capturing the aliens and getting footage of them and what do you want to do with this footage i can only imagine of course you want to expose this probably gain some type of benefit from it instead of figuring out a way to get them out of here because they're causing a lot of carnage around your ranch but you seem to be more invested in gaining something from them for your own benefit not really solving a way to get them out of here so they can stop terrorizing your neighbors <laughs> anyone close in the vicinity of your ranch all these people that travel out to jupiter's claim no interest in that just a bigger interest in how can this help us propel our ranch even further and put our name out there make us even bigger so if that's the case and that's what happens and that's just what happens i do like this website the website and the marketing that's been going on for nope has been amazing and what's amazing about it is how the marketing has been so so well done and yet there's still so many questions that everyone has that have not fully been answered which is only building up the intrigue for you to go out there see the movie and get those questions answered because even the marketing techniques and everything that's being tied into the marketing it's not answering everything as much as it is just giving you breadcrumbs and it's really getting me excited to see this movie to see what the answers are going to be to my questions that i have containing per, as they pertain to this movie um i'm not saying this movie is going to be great a big giant successful spectacle or anything like that do i have faith that this will be another solid solid effort from jordan peele absolutely but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.